In August 2008, Netflix faced a major database loss and it couldn't ship any DVDs to its customers for three days. Back then, Netflix operated as an online DVD shipping service and they had just begun dipping their toes into streaming services. With 9.16 million paid subscribers and streaming on the rise, Netflix was already on a rapid growth trajectory. This incident triggered a realization. Sticking to traditional data centers could hold them back from innovation and slow their pace. Netflix was just starting on a journey to make history. Netflix planned to move from its traditional data centers to cloud. AWS was only two years old and cloud computing was on its very early stage. Netflix believed cloud computing was the future. Switching to AWS would allow it to focus on what really matters, which is delivering videos to its customers. Netflix was focusing on the speed of innovation. Netflix had two ways of going into AWS. The first way was moving the existing monolith from data centers and dumping it into AWS. It was an easy way but could end up with similar problems of data centers. The second way was adopting a cloud native architecture. This was a hard way which will require rebuilding technology almost from scratch. Netflix chose the hard way. It planned to adopt cloud native microservices. Surprisingly, microservices was not even a term in 2008. Netflix had to migrate to cloud native microservices while still serving over 9 million subscribers. They knew they had to take it slow and steady to avoid any disruptions to their customers. So they started by migrating a non-customer facing application, movie encoding. It was a small step, but it was a start. Microservices and the org So what you what you need to do is you have to evolve the organization over time, gradually. You won't be able to do it overnight. As they dug deeper, they realized that they needed to fundamentally change how their teams were organized. They had to break away from their traditional monolithic structure and adopt a more agile cloud native approach. As per Conway's law, the team structure determines what a team builds. To switch to microservices, Netflix formed highly focused, loosely coupled teams. They created cross-functional teams that owned the entire service from end to end. This new structure allowed them to work independently and with speed. The migration Netflix was doing was first of its kind. So they had to develop a lot of new infrastructure and tooling pieces, which they open sourced through their Netflix open source program. Some of these tools include Netflix Zool, Netflix Eureka for service discovery, Netflix Riven for load balancing, and Netflix Hysterix for monitoring and fault tolerance. On April 21, 2011, AWS faced a significant outage in the US East region. This outage took down a number of high-profile websites, including Reddit and Quora. However, Netflix, which was a major user of AWS, was able to continue operating without significant disruption. This was not a coincidence. Netflix architecture was designed with resilience in mind allowing the company to continue operating even in the presence of regional failures. The platform's infrastructure was engineered to redirect requests to active regions, ensuring that users could still access Netflix services without interruptions. Netflix was preparing for failure proactively. It developed a service called Chaos Monkey that runs on production to kill other services. This discovers the potential failures beforehand and automatic recovery is kept in place for future. Inspired by the success of Chaos Monkey, Netflix also started creating new simians that induce various kinds of failure in the platform and test its ability to survive them. January 2016 after seven years of determination, Netflix completed its cloud migration and shut down the last remaining data center. The journey was more than just technological. It was a testament to the power of reimagining, daring to dream, and engineering the future. Netflix has shown what it takes to be a pioneer. 
innovating and improving this is what technology is all about